In this video, I'm going to illustrate some of the uh, uh, things that you need to know about operators, and one of them is commutator. Commutator is not a, uh, an abbreviation for communist dictator, but is actually describing the commutation of two operators. Now, in regular algebra, it doesn't matter what order you multiply two different things. So 2 times 5 is the same thing as 5 times 2. They're both 10. And the same even goes for functions. So x times ax squared is the same thing as x squared times x. And any two functions times each other, you get the same uh, result. It's not true for operators. So first of all, we have to understand how mul we multiply operators and what it means to do that. So I'm going to take two operators, one of which is the position operator in quantum mechanics. Now the position operator says, take the function x and multiply it by the function that you're operating on. Okay, so for example, we'll just write down x hat applied to f, defined as x times f, okay, in that order. Okay, the momentum operator in quantum mechanics is h bar over i, yes, that's the square root of minus 1. Now, h bar is just Planck's constant divided by 2 pi. The reason we have a special symbol for h bar is because we have h over 2 pi so often, it might as, we might as well just treat h bar as a fundamental constant. And this has the units of angular momentum when we look at it, and uh, also linear momentum. Okay, so um, not linear momentum. The units after we apply the operator will have units of linear momentum. Okay, so let's do this. So we always put the operator on the left side of the function we're operating on. Okay, and it can go the other way, but that, that involves a lot more math than we need to go into. So what this means is, uh, literally, you put h bar over i, which is just a couple of constants, times the derivative of f. Okay. So now here's where you can see where the order matters. If we're multiplying f, which is a function, times x, which is a function, it doesn't matter what order you do it. However, the derivative, when you learn calculus, is always written as ddx of the function and the function is written immediately to the right that you're taking the derivative of. And so that's important. And so we're going to use uh, what they uh, do in calculus, and we're going to call that f prime. So the prime is the first derivative. And that's going to be times h bar over i. Okay, so now that's how we apply the operators to the function. Now what we have to do for the commutator? Well, the commutator is testing whether the order in which we apply the operators is this equal to that. Does it matter in which order we put the two operators? So when we write x hat px hat f, that means we apply this operator immediately to the left of the function first, get a result, which is another function, then multiply that by the x hat, which is x. Whereas in this order, the first thing you do to the function is you operate with x hat, which means you multiply by x first and then take the derivative. And so you should know from calculus whether that's going to give the same answer or not. Now the commutator says, well, if these two are the same, then the, should we subtract one from the other? equal to zero if they commute. If it doesn't matter which order you apply the operators, then if you get the same answer and subtract the same answer from itself, then you get zero. So what we do is we write down the notation for these. If we use a square bracket, and then the two operators separated by a comma. And if we apply that to a function, then uh, this means do the order in which it's written in the box first, x hat, px hat, f. 
And then you subtract the reverse order, minus px hat x hat f. All right, so we're going to do that. Well, we've already done px on f. We've got this guy. So I'm just going to substitute the result of the first one, h bar over i, f prime. And then minus px hat, which is this derivative. And the result of x times f, which is xf. All right. Now, multiplying by x just means that. Okay, so the first term is basically x times f prime. Now, this is a product of two different functions of x. And so we have to use the product rule, which means you take for a product, you take the derivative of the first term times the second one, the original uh, function, plus the derivative of the second term times the original function for the first part of the product. And so minus, and then we're going to put this in parenthesis, and might as well bring out the h bar over i as a constant. Okay, um, so the derivative of x times f, so let's take the derivative of the first term first. So the derivative of x is 1 times the second function, unchanged. And then we're going to take the derivative of f times the original function, x. Okay, so now if we analyze this, we see we have h bar over i, x, f prime, minus h bar over i, x, f prime. Those two terms actually subtract and give zero. However, this term here remains. All right, so let's go ahead and bring this commutator all the way down. So this commutator acting on the function f, the end result is a constant times the function f. Now that's interesting. Uh, this is actually a special example of, uh, first of all, two operators that don't commute because they're not zero, and also um, an eigenfunction because the function before you apply the operator and after you apply the operator, you have a constant sum of the function. So the constant part is called the eigenvalue. I'm going to put that in this color here. This is the eigenvalue, and I want to circle this guy. This is the eigenfunction. Okay, now to be very precise about this, what you should say is that this is an eigenfunction of this operator, okay? Just not an eigenfunction. Makes no sense to say eigenfunction without saying what the operator is an eigenfunction of, okay? So this function f might not be an eigenfunction of some other operator. It's an eigenfunction of this operator. And the same goes for the eigenvalue. You shouldn't say what the eigenvalue is without talking about what the eigenfunction that goes with it and uh, also what the operator is. Okay, so you have to be very exact about knowing what the operator is, what the eigenfunction is, and what eigenvalue is associated with it. Very important primary. Okay, so that illustrates some of the ideas about how you apply operators, what order you need. And then when you look at two operators, this is how you define multiplication of two operators. 